welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to show you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. Today marks just nine days until Gen Con and we couldn't be more excited to be there. Our booth number is 2603 in the Exhibitor Hall and we can't wait to have you drop by for a visit. We'll be demoing Super Fantasy Brawl, Enchanters, Darkest Dungeon the board game, Steam Watchers, Six Siege the board game, and Monster Apocalypse. Speaking of Monster Apocalypse, we'll be posting more information soon concerning this exciting new endeavor we have with Privateer Press. We plan to launch some articles on our website as well as artwork reveals and videos too in due time. Back to Gen Con, our booth staff have all been vaccinated and will be following Gen Con's guidelines for safety, so please feel free and safe to drop in. This will also be the first time we will be selling products at our booth. You'll be able to pick up copies of Wrightbusters Project Vril, Solomon Kane, and Enchanters, along with some accessories too. The extra videos I did last week went well. I really enjoyed the new Mythic Play series we began with a session of Memoir 44 Against the Internet, and my Q&A went well where I got to show off the Monster Apocalypse prototype I received and just hang out with a bunch of you in a very casual manner. I'll be scheduling more of those this week too, so stay tuned. Now we have updates for Time of Legends, Joan of Arc, Enchanters, Steam Watchers, and Darkest Dungeon, the board game, so let's get to it. For Joan of Arc today, we received word that those containers for VR distribution will be loaded by September 15th and that VFI Asia will be picking up their product from the factory soon too. We don't have an exact date for VFI Asia, however, but we'll usually know 48 hours ahead of their picking it up and we'll let everyone know as soon as we can when we do get that word. Preparations for shipment to the other regions is ongoing and we will let everyone know when new information becomes available. For Enchanters this week, just a quick word to let you know that the product line will be getting a new expansion called Darklands for pre-orders, which will begin through our eShop on September 15th. We'll also be launching an information campaign with articles on our website and playthrough videos soon thereafter. So keep your eyes open for that in the near future. For Steam Watchers this week, fulfillment continues for the product well and strong. For our North American backers, as I'm recording this on Monday, we don't yet have word on whether the 40-foot container may port on September 3rd as it was supposed to because of the Labor Day holiday here in the U.S. For our UK backers, the product was supposed to reach port on September 2nd, but we've not yet received confirmation. As soon as we do hear from our hubs in these two regions, we will let everyone know as soon as we can what they can expect going forward. We especially wanted to thank our North American and United Kingdom backers for your support and patience. Steam Watchers' reception through pre-orders has also been tremendous, and we certainly want to thank all those eShot customers too. As we've specified, shipment of your pre-orders will begin after fulfillment is complete. We're planning on being able to begin pre-order shipments in October. Now that is only an estimate, of course, as we must make sure our backers get their copies first, and we are currently working hard towards that end. A worldview buttressed by dogmatic desperation invariably leads to single-minded fanaticism and the need to do terrible things in the name of righteousness. Today for Darkest Dungeon, we'd like to continue our Boss Spotlight series. The fourth and final boss of the ruins is the Fanatic, a rogue monk who roams the land with zeal, hunting anyone tainted by the abyss. His brutal methods will put to the torch whomever seems to be a heretic, so that they can be purified by holy flames in agony and desperation. His uneasy presence has the Hamlet citizens of the mind that they accuse the heroes of being tainted for lingering too long in the dungeons. When in the Hamlet, simply by going about their business, heroes will be debuffed for the next dungeon, and in later levels can even be chased by lynch mobs and possibly suffer wounds. While in the dungeons and battling monsters, heroes will start with the marked condition, making themselves easier targets for the monsters. 
Facing the Fnatic in comeback is not easy either. His towering presence will chase the heroes around, dealing decent amount of damage and stress. His standard skills, though, are of a moderate power compared to his special ability, which is tossing a hero into the pyre to die a slow and agonizing death. He always starts his turn by running towards the closest hero and throwing them into the area where his pyre burns. This will deal huge amounts of damage once the pyre's turn comes. Dealing with the pyre sooner rather than later can be a good tactic, although it will cost the heroes precious time and resources. And that's it for this week's Spotlight. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or, as always, you just want to see what he might spoil. But even if he doesn't spoil anything, let's give him props. It's usually a pretty fun time anyway. But that's it for this week. Stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we will see you on the flip side. Take care.